But um, um, Bill Benitez had a sense of humor that was it was just unbelievable. Uh, whenever I would talk to him and I was trying to get his agreement, you know, he he would never invalidate you and say no, you're wrong. He would say, well, it's possible, you know, and uh, so. Uh, and, and I feel very fortunate to have developed a friendship with William Benitez over the, the last 12 years. He passed away in, in 2000. But uh, to me, he was the best uh, friend that I ever had. Well, thank you very much for the acknowledgement, and it's always such a great pleasure to me to be able to have the opportunity to speak before such a beautiful group as I see here. Today we're going to talk about several things. Narcotic addiction, as you know, is what we're going to talk about. And running through your beautiful minds, you may be wondering, well, <clears throat> why a lecture on narcotic addiction? As you know, today, narcotic addiction and the use of narcotics has really infiltrated the schools quite a bit. There's many, many reasons for this. One of the primary reasons is because it's been really advertised. It's a funny thing. I know here not too long ago, there was one professor by the name of O'Leary, and he discovered a little something, called it LSD, or at least he contributed to it. And then he had a few followers. And today, they would just be in their own isolated pit. But then, of course, we have magazines, such as Look, Life, Post, and they really capitalized and monopolized on, really monopolized the thing. Uh, I'm sure that you've seen many 15, 18, 13 page spreads, full color, on many of this, which involves LSD. And because of this, Overnight, just like that, it was known throughout the world. And of course, kids, students all over the world are trying to set up <clears throat> their own uh, independency. They want to become independent, set their own ways, and things like this. And then this was all of a sudden something that, wow, well, what is it? And it became part of today's generation, you see. But uh, if it were to continue, it would be a down generation eventually, because the quickest way to hurt a person, or a nation, or a group, the quickest way to hurt a person's goals, his aims, his ability, his life, is by introducing that person to narcotics, whether it's in the form of a needle or whether it's in the form of just dropping pills, popping pills, smoking pot, using LSD. Now when I say these things, you may question it, and were I a lawyer, or a doctor or someone else up here telling you about narcotic addiction, you might very easily say, well, what does he know about it? Has he ever taken a trip? You could very easily put this, this question to me. And I just wanted to say that I have taken so many trips for 19 years that I could buy out the Greyhound bus station. So when I say these things to you, I didn't get them secondhand or I didn't read about them. I didn't watch or hear about them on TV, or I didn't read about them out of a medical journal, or anything like that. I experienced these various things, you see. So I want to bring one other thing out, and that is that I'm not here to give you a sermon. I'm not here to preach or talk goody-goody talk to you. I'm not here to talk to you about evil and sin or anything like that. I'm just here to attempt to give you some account of what I have seen in the 19 years that I was a drug addict and then let you take it for whatever it's worth. And if in some kind of a way I can give you a reality on narcotic addiction, well then I will feel that the lecture has been worth it. Okay? So I'm going to talk about narcotic addiction. I've briefly started into it. And then I'm also going to talk about Narquanon. I want to mention that Narconon is the name of some therapy groups that I set up for narcotic addicts at Arizona State Prison. There are two of these uh, therapy groups up there. One of them is inside of the walls, 
and the other one is just outside of the walls, which is uh, set up there for the young offender or men under 25. These groups, Narconon, are the only ones throughout the world. When I say that, I mean we are the only uh, therapy groups that use the particular science that we use. Our purpose in Arquanon, there are many of us that lecture from time to time, our purpose is to be able to set these programs up throughout the United States and all of the various penitentiaries. And many people are really inquiring about Narquanon because many people are finding out of our statistic. I'd like to mention that up to now, in the last 18 months, we have had 12 graduates or 12 men who have left these Narconon groups from Arizona State Prison. And out of the 12 men, none have returned back to prison. These men are really doing well. We have six here in Phoenix, and we have some men in Tucson, and we have some men in Los Angeles. And these men are really, really doing great. It's fantastic. Many of you may be aware that 12 men out of 12 is unheard of. 